I'm super excited to be collaborating with Dymex Group and today we want to feature the project at Lakewood. And I'm here with Gordana, Sales Director with Dymex. How are you doing today? Good, how are you John? Great, thank you so much for inviting us to this beautiful presentation center. And uh, perhaps you can share with us just a brief overview of Lakewood. Lakewood consists of 24 homes. It's a boutique development. We're primarily selling three bedroom townhomes and uh, we we're offering quite a variety of floor plans that include two level three bedroom townhomes as well as three level two bedroom townhomes. The entire development is focused on the courtyard which provides more of a family family environment focused on community um, and then the location is ideal for families because they're, we're only three blocks away from Commercial Drive which offers quite a few different amenities. So let me tell you about the location first. Yeah, let's do that. Great. Um, we are one of the first to market in this area that is right now changing and um, with with this specific location, you're able to, within five minutes, have access to a long list of restaurants. There's cafes, grocery stores. This area is a great area because it's family oriented. Every, all your amenities are within walking distance and you have access to transit. You're only 10 minutes to downtown. That sounds amazing. Can you tell us more about the building? Absolutely, I'd love to. We have two color schemes to choose from. We have our classic color scheme and our modern color schemes. Both color schemes offer dual toned kitchen cabinets. Um, our classic is what we have showcased here. This is our kitchen vignette. It's not true to size or the actual configuration of the kitchen. It's just to show the finishes and some of our appliances. Uh, for our appliance package, we have a 32-inch Fisher & Paykal fridge with a bottom mount freezer. And then we have our Bosch 30-inch induction cooktop, as well as a Bosch 30-inch dishwasher that would come with the home, although we don't have it included here. Uh, with regards to the material that we're using, we have the flat white matte finish cabinets. We've added uh, the hardware down below in stainless steel to match our Moen uh, faucet. We've also added uh, these drawers that showcase our cooking utensils instead of having them right beside the oven. And then you have your cooking oils and it prevents the clutter on your countertops. Uh, the countertops are quartz and then we have extended it all the way to the backsplash so that there's no grout and down below we have more of a wood grain finish on our cabinets. With our modern color scheme it's very similar, it's white upper cabinets and then the lower cabinets are more of a lacquered glossy finish um, in a very similar tone and again um, a quartz countertop that is extended all the way to the backsplash with the same, same appliance package. So you mentioned that this is a passive house. Can you share with us what's different between a passive house and a, a regular building? Yes. Uh, let's walk over here. I have a cross section of a wall to share the differences with, with regards to a passive house as opposed to a traditionally built home. Perfect. Thank you. So this really stood out. And I'm not too sure what it is. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, this cross section basically shows us the um, traditional way of building and then how Passive House changes that. It's not a technology, it's more a focus on the actual construction. So you can see here we use the two by six uh, wood frame studs uh, with the insulation on the interior. If you could imagine this is the drywall and then the interior of your home is on the other side of that wall. We have a half inch exterior plywood sheathing and then of course your water resistant barrier membrane. So traditionally what happens is between this water resistant barrier membrane and the exterior shell of the home is a one and a half inch air gap just to push the water out um, if there is any absorptions. Um, what we've done is we've added an extra six inches of insulation. It's continuous insulation that wraps around your home and prevents the heat from escaping in those gaps that you would traditionally find in a traditionally built home. So for a passive house, besides the insulation, what other features would it have? 
So there's three main aspects of Passive House. One, we've talked about the construction, but I'd love to show you the second aspect, which is our windows. Let's take a look. Great. Uh, the other big feature of Passive House is our windows. We use premium windows. They're triple glaze, so three panes of glass. Uh, they're European style, so they open from the inside and then they also tilt up from the top, providing a little bit more um, diversity in your window. Uh, the other unusual aspect of these windows is that the actual frame is insulated and this is the other, uh, other place in your home where heat escapes. So having triple glaze tilt and turn windows with the really tight seal ensures that we're able to continue saving on those heating costs. So that's the second point for Passive House. What would be the last one? So the last point of Passive House, if we could move over here, we do have um, a heat recovery ventilation system. So every home has their own heat recovery ventilation system, so you're not sharing air with anybody else. Um, the One of the benefits is that it'll continually push out the stale air and continually bring in the fresh air into your home. We have two filters. Both filters act to uh, filter out pollutants and particles, whether it be from um, car emissions or whether it be from the forest fires we've just experienced. It ensures that the air you're breathing in your home is the healthiest breathing air. Um, and that if you suffer from allergies or asthma or any kind of respiratory problems, this is the healthiest environment to be living in, as well as the most comfortable. And um, this has really resonated with our medical community. Um, and so those are the benefits of Passive House construction. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing with us Passive House. It's so innovative and I'm sure lots of people and lots of our viewers will want to learn more about this project. So for those who do want to get in contact with you, what's the best way? The best way to reach us is by phone, email, or website. Um, we do offer a link for you to book your appointments. Uh, also, you can follow us on our social media. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you, John, for giving me the opportunity to present these projects to you. Oh, thank you so much.